Hey guys, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this action figure looks. This Joker from Mattel from The Dark Knight. Doesn't he look amazing? Let me tell you, he does. And spoiler alert, this is an awesome action figure. <laughs> In case I ask you what you think, I'll tell you. It looks amazing. So guys, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time we have a new video coming out. And guys, talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So guys, what do you say we get started, right? Now! So nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. This is Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. Hey guys, welcome back to Vincent Gigi Super Channel G. Look what we have for you here today. This is the Joker action figure with the crime scene evidence, as you'll see right here. This is the Dark Knight action figure from when the movie came out. Uh, somewhere around here, it's gotta have the year. Maybe on the bottom, let's take a look. We've been waiting since, uh, I guess it doesn't say it on here. But I believe it's about 2008-ish. Oh well, I could have sworn it was down there. But nonetheless, um, super excited about this. It's over 10 years old, this action figure. And look at this back. It looks, it's got such great detail. It may not have this ridiculous, amazing articulation like action figures from today have, but this is definitely one we want in our collection. So, experience the denizens of Gotham City in all their heroic or hideous glory with movie masters figures. These highly detailed figures give you an up-close and personal look at the freakish makeup of the Joker and his Gotham City thug and Batman suit all from the Dark Knight movie collect them all. So here's the chase figure. Look at that. Batman, Gotham City thug, right? Super cool. And then here's Batman with his mask on and they come with this. Isn't that awesome? So, Hero Zone, right? DC Hero Zone right there, dcherozone.com and these are from Mattel. So, let's get this bad boy open. That's the card from the very first uh Batman Begins movie right right at the end when they're like he left his calling card and Yeah, let's get this bad boy up. I love this like 3d shadow box action going on here and the way that it lets light in so you can see that so Let's see if we can get this open without destroying it But since it's glued cardboard, we're probably gonna have to but nonetheless I'm just gonna shimmy a little Butter knife up in there so I don't have to destroy this this good guy. So hopefully if not, you know, well, whatever, right? We gave it our best shot. And let's see if there's a little better place I can get this started at. Sometimes we can just push from down here, but let's see. There we go. Okay, let's just jam this bad boy in right here. And let's just give a little shimmy like this. And let's see if we can't get it to just pop right out right over here okay so here it comes but you're as anxious as I am and look how great this packaging looks wow looks like it's got some pretty decent articulation after all oops there <laughs> went our knife all right and so let's straighten that out but wow let's zoom right on in here look how great this Heath Ledger looks right look at that so before we take all that out, let's take our little um, crime scene evidence out. Let's just pull this right here and get our Joker card without destroying it. Doesn't that look awesome? Look at that. Kill the Batman. This looks so awesome. Exactly from the movie. Okay. Get this gunk on out of here. Let's see this little, is this an evidence bag? Cool. Look. Man, that's really cool. That's just, I guess, to hold it. So, I guess if we zoom out. That's really cool. We can just put our little card here as evidence. And 
Isn't that awesome? Look at this. Warning. Let's see what it says. Object of evidence is only to be opened by authorized individuals. That's so awesome. All right, and the moment we've been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Well, let me get a quick little picture of that. That looks awesome. Let's get the Joker out. <laughs> ah, he's stuck here. There we are. I definitely don't want to break anything here. Sometimes, you know, things happen, right? So let's see. I guess I'm gonna need to cut this. Give me one second. Okay. There we are. Cool. And hopefully we can just get them on out of there. Now, sometimes you gotta be careful with figures that are a little older because sometimes their plastic is a little weakened. So let's see if this knife comes out because it's definitely got this rubber band right here. So, let's see. Wow, I don't know if that's like stuck in his hand. Let's take a look. Let's try to jam that bad one out of there because look, why else would it have had a rubber band on it, right? Let's see. It does, look at that. Wow. Look how tiny this is. That's really cool though. Well, maybe we should keep that tiny little rubber band. Slide that right on in here. <laughs> there we go, right? Okay. Oh, scary because it's so stiff. I don't want it to just crack off. So look at this great outfit here. This great Heath Ledger hair. Let's see what kind of articulation we have. It's got great head movement. Obviously, we don't need his head to move back like the Iron Man figures we want. Just enough to be subtle like that and still have good range of movement to look side to side, right? Okay, let's see. Arms. They do go all the way around. I don't know if they go, they do go out. Okay, good. They have that joint right there. So good. So we have a single elbow joint. So we're glad we at least get um, 90 degree angle. Let's see. The hand only spins. It does not go back and forth. It's soft rubber, but it doesn't go back and forth. So this arm is much the same. Single joint right here. Heavy duty joint right here at the elbow. And of course this hand does turn, right? This is just a little bent because it's soft plastic and it was pushed up against uh, the package. Look at this really cool green vest and shirt and tie right there. Look at these cool pinstripe pants. Look at these amazing shoes. Let's see. It does pivot like this and the foot does go slightly back and forth right there on that joint. You'll see not tons far back and forth, but some. Uh, let's see this chain. This, of course, plastic chain is attached here and here, kind of like glued. So it doesn't really do too much, but um, it can accidentally be torn off. The legs go back and forth, but have an extra hip joint just to go straight out so they don't turn like that. But they do turn on this part of the thigh. So that can allow you for that sideways leg pose, right? Like so. See? Okay. And we have one big heavy duty knee joint to give you a 90 degree angle. Now, mind you, the Joker doesn't need to have like crazy Black Panther action poses. He just needs to have, you know, pretty just single pose. Um, he does have his neck a little bit more forward than you would think. So he's got a little bit of a hunch vulture deal going right there. And then this soft, like soft plastic or vinyl jacket. Oops, there went his knife. It looks like it can come off. It might be glued, but even if it can come off, uh, even if it can, you may not want to come off because he'll still have the purple sleeves from the coat. So just throwing that out there. Let's set all this other stuff aside. And let's get a couple of cool action poses. But I love the way this figure looks. You remind me of my father. I hated my father. Well, definitely some great Dark Knight action figure um, poses and we can recreate scenes like that one where the, the story changed like constantly, right? So look at that. <laughs> All right.
Okay. So. Barbie dead. Let's 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 see what kind of pose we got. All right. So here's kind of the obvious. You know, it's just a basic, threatening, not too far in your face with a knife, but just very menacing. Just a normal stance. But this is very Joker-esque. Loving the way this looks. Taking a couple pictures as I do so. And yes, look at that. And then we'll let's move on to our next pose. Okay. All right, so I told you with the Joker, you definitely don't need like these big crazy action poses. You just need subtle ones like this. So here's a great one. It's just him and you're like, man, what is he thinking about? He's scaring me just with his crazy thoughts. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? That alone and then just that subtle little knife there. He's just so crazy. Look at that. See if we can get it to zoom here. There we go. See if we can, uh, and I said zoom, but I meant focus. <laughs> it's so great. Look at this awesome pose. It's just so simple yet so Heath Ledger. Look at that. So, really digging this. Let's get another one. And here, and here we go. Here's one right here. And once again, subtle movements, just turning the legs in or out, just ever so slightly. Never really having him on his heels, always just slightly forward and aggressive. And yes, tell me that isn't amazing. Let's get him in focus here. Let's get the knife in focus now. See if we can do that. Yes. And so, this is another great action pose right here. We should have just someone right there in front of him. That would be really cool. So, guys, what do you think? Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Is this an action figure that's totally worth getting? Spoiler alert, it is. So awesome. I'm so glad I got him. Waited 13 years to open this bad, wait, the bad man. 11 years to open this bad boy. So, guys, I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here today. I look forward to seeing you really soon on our next video. And I'm going to try and see how many videos we can put out this week since we're so far behind. But um, great grandpa, we miss you tons. And um, yeah, so guys, thanks for watching. Vincent GG Super Channel G. Peace.